The next date function is date diff. We use date diff to return the difference between two dates. Say we want to find out the time difference between today and a particular date five years ago. We can use the date diff to find out what that difference is. Either we want to find out in, in years or in months or in weeks or in days, we can do that. The syntax is we have the date div keyword and then in parentheses we have the date path, we have the start date and then the end date. The date path is the part of the dates, the two dates that we're trying to find, whether we want to find the year, the number of years that has gone by or the number of months or the number of weeks, we can do that. The start date will be the date in the past, so for example 1995. The end date will be the current or the present date, 2020 for, instance, for example. Let's switch over to SQL Server and put this to practice. I'll start with our comment and I'll call this date diff func function. Right. Let's write out the syntax first. So we have the date diff and we have the date part. We have the start date and then we have the end date. Okay. I'm just going to comment this out as well. All right, so let's assume we want to find out the time period between two dates or two periods. Uh, how do we do that? So we have our select, we have our keyword, the date diff, and we let's say for, well, let's start with the let's find out the year. Let's say we want to find out the year, okay? And then the start date would be 19. Start with 1990. Let's say 1997, and then the month would be 03, and the day let's say 08. So that's the start date, and we want we want the end date to be. Let's just say we want the end date to be two, year 2000. Okay, and then we use the same month, and we use the same day just for e easy calculation or easy math if you will so we want to find out how many years has passed between 1997 and the year 2000 clearly we know that because that's that's also easy to calculate we know that's three when we run this query it gives us that answer what if we want to find out the number of months that has passed between the same period? I'm just going to copy the same query. And now, instead of year, we just add this as months. And it's going to be the result, the same result, except that in months. And really, that's just multiplying by 12. So 3 multiplied by 12, we get, the, we get 36. Um, what else? Let's say we want to find out the. I'm gonna copy this again. So we've done year, we've done months. We can, of course, do weeks as well. Let's say we want to find out how many weeks has gone by. So we do. We use the keyword week, and when we run this, it tells us it's one fifty-seven. Right, let's apply this to our table, our people table. So let's find out, so we know, let's print out our table first. So we have all those date of birth for Sally, Amanda, Paul, and Paul. And we just have their date of birth, right? But what if we want to find out their age, the age itself, rather than just having the date of birth, we just want to find out, you know, a salad 30 years old or 25 years old or whatever the case may be, right? I will write out the query first and then we'll go through it together.
Okay, so let's go through this together. So we're saying we have our birth date column, which is this column within our papers table. So we're saying print out, I want to find out the difference between this is the this is the the first this is the start date the birth date is the start date which is what we have here now we're using the get date function to find or to retrieve the current date or the today's date and we want to, what we're trying to do is that we want to find out what's the difference how many years have has passed from this birth date and today's date okay and then we say from people right and we can add the name. Let's say we let we want to see the name as well. So one set the name. Let's run this. So it tells us, and let's rename this as let's say as as age. Let's call this age. All right. Just going to make it look nicer so now we can see the ages of everyone in our table we see that Sally is 23, Amanda is 22, Fuller 33, Paul 40 years old and if we want, we can find out their ages in in months. To do that, I'm just going to copy and paste the same query. And all we need to do is now change this to month. And what if we, instead of using get date, why don't we just use current timestamp? Just to show that it's just it's gonna give us the same result as get date, and we'll call this this age in let's say age in weeks. Oh, sorry, I think we did months. Sorry, age in months. And when we run this, it tells us that Sally is 275 months old. Okay. So essentially, what this query is doing is to subtract the previous, like it's subtracting the the start date from the end date. So it's subtracting the, the past the date in the past from the current date. And we can also find out the, the dates in weeks. And this should actually be here. And instead of months, now we're going to have this as week. And it's an age, age, age in weeks. Let's run this. Now we have the ages in weeks. And finally, let's find out in days, because we are yet to see how that works. It's pretty much the same thing. We just use the keyword day. And we can change this to, to days. All right. And we have their ages in days. So that's how we use the date div to subtract two values or two different dates. And the next video would we'll see how we can, instead of subtracting, we can add a particular value to a date value.